To deploy the process, we need to create a Process Deployment Descriptor, or PDD. I'll open up an existing PDD for the Request for Quo process, so we can have a look inside. We can see that we're deploying to the ActiveVos server. Changing the log level for this process at deployment time will override the default log level that's set in the ActiveVos engine. With ActiveVos, we give you a lot of control over process versioning. If this process was already previously deployed, I can either set a new version number or let the engine auto-increment the version for me. I can define when this new version should take effect, either immediately or at some date in the future. And I can also have the process expire on a certain date. I can also control how process instances that are currently in flight should be handled when I deploy a new version of the process plant. So, in-flight processes can be terminated, migrated over to the new plan, or they can complete using the original plan and only new process instances will use this new version. Now let's take a look at the Partner Links tab. This is where I can provide more information about how services are invoked and where those services are located. For instance, if I take a look at the Credit Extended service, I can see it's executing a POJO. Meanwhile, the Risk Assessment Service is bound as a standard web service, and here's the endpoint. With ActiveVos, I can invoke all sorts of services like JMS, Java, REST, and a whole host of others. I could also define the endpoint as dynamic, where for instance, the process might determine the partner service to invoke on the fly based on message data. Clicking on the ellipses allows me to define policies to help govern the services within the process. I can apply custom policies or choose from a number of standard policies like basic authentication, SAML, digital signatures, retry policies, and more. So once the endpoint and policies are defined, I can save the PDD and deploy. To deploy, I just need to right click on the PDD and select export. I'll export the PDD as a business process archive file or beeper as we call it. The beeper basically bundles up the process and resources into a single package that's deployed to the app server. Now, I can provide a location for the beeper to be saved on the file system, and at the same time, actually deploy it to the ActiveVos server. I'll click Finish to complete the deployment. We can see here that the deployment was successful, and we can also see the version number of the process that we just deployed. As a final check, I can open the Active Voss console and check the resource catalog where I'll see a list of all deployed processes. And as we can see here by the version number, our deployment was successful. I hope this brief tour of testing and deployment was able to show you how easy yet powerful ActiveVos can be. Thank you.